In this video, we're going to talk about the math behind owning fractional shares of a company. So to understand this concept, let's make a table. In the first column of this table, we're going to have the price of the stock. In the second column, this is going to represent the number of shares. And then the third column is going to represent the value of the investment. So let's say we have an expensive stock, which is trading at $1,000. If you own 10 shares of this stock, the value of your investment is going to be 10 times 1,000, or $10,000. If you own one share of the stock, the value of the investment is 1000 But what if you don't have $1,000 to invest? Let's say if you have $100, how many shares of the stock can you buy? In this case, because the value of the investment is less than the price of stock, you can only buy fractional shares. With $100, you can buy 0.1 fractional shares of this stock. 1,000 times 0.1 is 100. If you own 0 0.01 fractional shares, then the value of that investment will be 10. So here's the formula that describes these three factors. The value of the investment is equal to the price of the stock times the number of shares that you own. It could be a whole number of shares or it could be fractional shares. So now let's use that equation to answer the problem that we're dealing with here. Stock XYZ is currently trading at $1,500. Lucy spends $300 of buying the stock. How many fractional shares of this company does she own? So using this formula, we'll say that V is equal to P times S. The value of her investment is equal to the price of the stock times the number of fractional shares that she owes, or that she owns rather. So the value of her investment is $300. That's how much money she's using to buy the stock. Now the price of the stock is currently $1,500. So what we need to do is solve for S. To do that, we need to get F by itself on the right side of the equation. So we're going to divide both sides by 1,500. So the fractional shares that she owns is going to be the value of her investment divided by the price of the stock. So it's $300 divided by 1500 So when you divide these two numbers, you're going to get 0.2, or you could say 0.20. So that's the number of fractional shares that she owns. She owns 0.2 shares of stock XYZ, which means that she owns 20% of one share. 20% of 1,500 is 300. So hopefully that gave you a good idea into the concept of fractional shares. So let's say if you were to own 0.45 shares, that means you own 45% of one single share. Now, let's try another example. Andrew owns 0.175 fractional shares of company ABC. The stock is currently trading at a price of $2,000. What is the value of Andrew's investment? So let's write the formula. The value of the stock is equal to, or rather the value of the investment is equal to the price of the stock times the number of fractional shares, or shares in general, that the person owns. So in this problem, we want to calculate the value of Andrew's investment. We know that the price of the stock is 2000 It's very expensive. But Andrew doesn't have enough money to buy one share. So he buys 0.175 fractional shares. If we multiply 2,000 by 0.175, we're going to get $350. So that is the value 
of 0.175 fractional shares of a stock that's trading at $2,000. So with this formula, you can calculate the value of the investment or the number of fractional shares that you own in a company after spending a certain amount of money to buy a stock at a certain price. So that's it for this video. Hopefully it gave you a good introduction into the concept of fractional shares.